All right, good morning. Just woke up, gonna do some quick chores. Bring you along with me for the couple things I gotta do. Why are we in my bathroom, you ask? The guineas are five weeks. So one more week and they'll be ready to go outside. But I brought you here so you can get a look at them and see what happened to my shower. What's wrong with me? Yep, that's my shower. And that's 20 guinea fowl in there. So there's 20 of them, five are gonna to go to my neighbor. They're kind of skittish. They're gonna run away. But yeah, that's how I live. Give up my shower for the critters. Gotta change their water, gotta give them more food. Then we're gonna go outside, let the ladies out. Show you around, show you a couple new purchases, show you the grass, pop it, and we'll go from there. So hold on, see you when I get outside, see if this new phone works. Boom, we're outside. So like I said, I got a new phone, hopefully get some better pictures. Uh oh, let's look, see if I can zoom in. Let's look, they're in the field. Oh, our turkey friends. Bring it on back. All right. So, back to this beautiful face. Okay, so as you saw, there's some flags out there. That's where the barn's gonna go. Interesting fact. <clears throat> Went to the city, dropped off my plans, city, county, whatever. Dropped off my plans for the barn, applied for a permit. They said, hey, you gotta go over to environmental health and safety <clears throat> and make sure they're you're far enough away from your septic. I'm 150 yards away from the septic. You gotta be outside of five feet. Fine, pay them, <clears throat> leave there. All of a sudden I come back and go, uh, they call me and say, uh, Mr. Baker, we have an issue. I was like, what's the issue? They said, well, I'm just making up numbers right now because I don't remember the exact numbers off the top of my head. They said, your house is 1,900 square feet. The barn is 2,000 square feet. I said, okay. So, well, you're, I forgot what the term they used, but your support buildings cannot be bigger than your dwelling. So, my house is 100 feet bigger than my barn, so now we have an issue. What? So they said, we included your porch. I said, well, if I add a deck, will that cover it? Yes, I need to add a deck anyway. So now I'm adding a deck. So I go back at the deck, blah, blah, blah. First world problems. Getting ready to put a deck on. Got a permit out for a deck. Got a permit out for a barn. And yeah, country living. Great times. So we, let me go. So we actually bought a sprayer to help cover the driveway. It was this model on the floor because it was the last one they had. Of course, the uh, on-off switch wasn't with it, so now I gotta call them and get that. If you look behind it, we bought a finishing mower because the grass is everywhere. I wanna cut it short-ish, probably about six inches. And you can see I actually did a swath, swath right before the rain came. It rained like the dickens the last couple days. But it's gonna look good. I'd say give it two cuts. And it'll start really spreading out, really getting some wide blades. But, let's be honest, here's what you're here for. The ladies. There we go. So we brought, bought some Premier One netting with an electrical charger. Not really so much to keep them in, but to keep critters out. So for us to get in here, we've got two. First thing, turn it off, because I don't like to get electrocuted. Disconnect, spread it, untie it. And then what I won't do, oh, maybe I will. So we have now two kiddie pools. Ugh, ugh, ducks are messy. So every day, once or at least once a day, if not twice a day, we dump out the kiddie pool. Oh yeah, and I gave them a uh, sun sail shade because they're fancy ladies. So we'll take that, 
we'll take our hose and I highly recommend if you're going to be doing this daily to get a fire hose style nozzle it's like 30 bucks but man what a difference it makes I don't know if I can do this one-handed because those small nozzles just will not there we go So your small nozzles will take forever to fill. Okay, ladies, ladies, are you ready? I hope they're really ladies. Uh, there you are. So they'll come out, they'll flap their wings, strut a little bit. That is Agatha, oh, that's Agnes, Abigail, and I'm sorry, Agatha, that's Agnes. Yep, they'll be flying soon. As soon as they fly, the nang's gonna come down. So, the one closest to us is Agnes. She had what was called Angel's Wing, and we had to wrap it. And uh, about two days later, after wrapping it, it looks fine, can't even tell. They've got real pretty greenish hue. Hopefully this new camera takes good pictures. We'll find out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is going on, ladies? Ladies. Okay. Everybody calm down. Camera shy. All right. So that's where we're at. Oh yeah. Also, I'm not going to zoom out there. One of the pastures, I've got a uh, post all the way around it. Just gotta put two more in. I'm gonna start putting in posts every week till I get ready to start on the barn and the deck. But it's coming along. We'll get there shortly. Guineas come out next week. We'll make a video for that hopefully. And there's a quick update. Yep, beard's coming in nicely. Old man winter, as the wife says. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Actually, we've been doing this for what five months maybe. It's been pretty good progress. We'll see how it goes throughout the rest of the year. Hopefully by the end of the year. Have alpacas down here. That's the plan. I gotta get that barn, water, and electric to it. All right, everybody, as normal, stay safe. This pandemic's kind of crazy. This world's getting crazy. Stay calm, relax. Just stay, take care of each other. Use common decency. That's all I ask. And I'm nobody, so it doesn't matter. All right, you guys have fun. I'll see you later. Bye.